go to work. Cameron Coyle, you got a sec? These are words. Uh, yes, I have many, many seconds. 86,400 seconds in a day just to talk to you. <laughs> Your light bracelets were seriously insane. They were. Did you invent that technology? She did. I got this. She did. <laughs> They're wearable that convert gestures to colors. By responding to our actions and the music, the LED circuitry creates a musical light experience. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's funny more where that came from. I uh, set an appointment with my office. Uh, there's a spot open in the Simon Says Summer Internship Program. You'll meet our marketing and PR team, but I can see you already have one. Oh, Em, are you kidding me, G? Could this night get any better? Good question. And equally good answer. Circuit Beats is trending on Insta. <laughs> go, go us, go us, go. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I wanted to see if you guys could actually pull it off tonight. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. For real? For real. You know, Devin, you act like you're all me instead of we, but there's a we deep down inside you. And not to get all sappy, but I will. It means a lot you came to support us. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Group hug? Don't push it. You can't leave my girl hanging. <laughs> Maybe next time. What's up, Maywood Glenn? And let's give it up for Circuit Beats one more time. And now, please welcome Maywood Glenn Academy Zone. Elite! Music may be pure evil sound manipulation, but it sure is fun to dance to. Uh, Ember, we got ourselves a gummy bear hog. You know, Randy, it'd be polite to leave some of Adrian's gummies for the other customers. Just saying. Who are you, Evergreen? The gummy bear police? <laughs> That's cute. Now don't make me ask you again. Randy, you should try some of my famous honey beads made with drops of honey, gold olive oil, and agar agar. So nice they named it twice. He's here. What a great disguise. Yeah, but not great enough to fool her little sister. Welcome to Cafe Adams. The midship was a wise choice. <laughs> and feel free to load up on toppings. Hey, you told me I couldn't. Chatting with the customer, Randy. Where was I? I myself am a chocolate sprinkles, crushed peanuts kind of gal. What kind of person are you? A person who's leaving. Bye now. It's working. She can run, but she can't hide. Pretty well. Simon! Mr. Temple. Cool board. Thanks. I just wanted to let you know I'm a big fan. I've been following you since, well, forever. 
That's sweet. Uh, I I'm a little busy right now. Actually, I was about to fire my assistant. Just messing with you, dude. Oh, hey, good luck on your audition. Oh, your routine, it's nice. Nice? Nice? You have a visitor, sir. A visitor? Who? Could I have a visual, please? It's no regrets. What is he doing here? He must work for a stone. Cam, you read me? Go for Cam. No regrets is in the elevator on his way up from the basement. Implement stalling tactics. Roger that. Hold the door, young man. I don't move as fast as I used to. Oh, dear me. Thanks, Sonny. Oopsie daisy. We don't have much time. Miles, I really need a record of that transfer pronto. Oh, someone's going to the penthouse. Fancy. Miles, hurry. Hmm, now what floor was it? Ah, the fifth. Wait, no. Was it the seventh? Yeah. It was the seventh floor. Or was it the ninth? Guess I'll know when I see it. Would you like the records printed or viewed as a PDF? PDF, please. But hurry, Miles. Getting too risky. We'll have to come back. No, I'm not leaving without proof. Dad is innocent. Huh, here you go, sir. It was buried deep. Okay. <gasps> Wait! Miles, please erase the database from the time I returned home until I leave today. Keep no record of this visit. What visit, sir? <laughs> Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper. If you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Liking the British accent. You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes, this is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I 
can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making his owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Uh, of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for Mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not at the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa! Uh oh! Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school. Hi. Hello. Uh, I saw you outside uh, just before. Um, I'm Kyle. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, um, yeah, really nice kick out there. Um. Uh, oh, yeah. A spinning ball deflects the air rushing by it, and the air responds by deflecting the ball through the curve. It's called the Magnus Effect. The tree was 22 feet from Justin, so traveling at 50 miles per hour, he only had 0.3 seconds to respond. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I will see you um, later. Bye. Flawlessly handled, Michaela. Come on, Addison. Be honest. Hey, you asked. Basics by training is not easy. But helping you fit in? That will be our assignment mas difícil. I know we can do it this time. Two minutes. There's got to be a way out of here. There is. So, how do we get up there? Adri, do you still have your nail polish? Hmm? Metallic rose or ruby sunset? I carry extra in case of emergency. This is clearly an emergency. The nitrocellulose polymers in the polish will act as a binding agent. Or we could just use my super glue. Why didn't you start with that? One minute. What if the window's sealed? Guess we'll find out. 10 seconds. I know we can figure this out. This place can't be completely sealed. We'd run out of air, right? Wait, if air is coming in, it has to be going out. Right, I need to borrow your necklace. Michaela, I need a rusty leg of that metal chair. Ahora. Now we need something that we could use to burn, to make some smoke. Burn my socks. Although, fair warning. We may regret it. One minute. When aluminum reacts with rust, it creates thermite, which burns at over 2,000 degrees centigrade. Mira! The smoke trail is venting through that seam in the wall. Perfecto. Let's get out of here. Nice job, guys. Nailed it. Yes. Yep, we, we did, did it. it. We, we escaped. escaped. Go, Go us. us.